Hi, it's Joe from Pointer here, and I have Zoe Lamont, who is the head of Verve Academy at Verve Super. Um, Zoe, can you give us a bit of a, a go over of what Verve Super is, and then you were going to give us some hot tips around Super and when you're starting a new job, or just things to be thinking about your Super in general. Sure, Joe. Thanks. Uh, so Verve Super is a new um, boutique super fund that is geared to uh, service um, particularly women, but more about we've got we've got male members. It's more about um, for those appreciating that um, you know people don't always just have a straight trajectory of working for forty years on a regular income, and that. Often um, women in particular have time out of the workforce for caring or um, different responsibilities. And so therefore we might go back and work part-time or do contract work or have periods where we're self-employed. And this all impacts your retirement savings. And so Verve is really set up to our fee structures so we don't um, charge fees on balances less than a thousand dollars and we don't charge fees when you're on parental leave and we have um, you know ethical investment um, choices and uh, free financial education so everything is geared to closing the retirement savings gap and making sure those that do have time out of the workforce or that are self-employed or working on contract work aren't left in a vulnerable position um, long term when they reach retirement. Yeah, awesome. And so you touched on it briefly there, but like there's some things for people, especially who um, people that are working remotely who are working as a contractor or doing piece work or um, yeah, that it's you're not signing on for a a long term role um yeah you've got some things to to point out about that 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 are really important to just to keep in the back of your mind with your super when you're working in that sort of way yeah sure so i think for anyone whether you're um starting a new contract or um part-time or permanent role that it's so important to use those sort of life change periods to do some reflection and think okay you know what do I need in my short, medium and long term? And particularly retirement, especially as a young person, can seem far, far away. But getting it right and making sort of small contributions and looking after your super or retirement nest egg over um, a long period of time can mean it's it's much easier than nearing retirement and thinking, oh, well, you know, I don't have a super balance or my super balance is really low. So the first thing I always say to people is know what you'll need in retirement. So um, whether that's going onto the Money Smart site, moneysmart.gov.au and looking at their retirement planning calculator and seeing, okay, how am I tracking and um, and what do I, um, what, what's my desired income goal? And then you can work back and say, okay, you know what? I really do want to be contributing to my super, whether I am out of work, whether I'm in a contract role. And then it comes back to, um, to first of all, finding the right fund that suits you and your, um, and your, you know, experience and your, um, you know, the way you earn money and what you want to achieve going forward, setting up your contributions properly, obviously. And um, especially if you're a contract worker and, you know, when you're starting a new job, making sure that your employer is contributing your super. Like, it's surprising the facts that um, people just think, oh, yeah, that'll be looked after. But when they actually look into their super fund, they're not being made as regularly as they um, as they should be. Or so to consciously go in once you've you know told your employer about your um, your the fund that you want um, your your super put in, and making sure that those contributions are are being made in line with your contract. And if you're on a contract, making sure that super is included in that. Um, then obviously making the most of different tax benefits. So you can at the moment um, make concessional contributions of up to $25,000 a year. 
And if you are earning more than, you know, if you are being ta in a tax bracket and you're being taxed more than 15%, it can be tax effective to um, make a personal contribution because your um, that those contributions are only taxed at fifteen percent. So this also, especially if you're doing different contract works, like your income is lumpy and stuff. And so whether you are making small contributions over the time or at the when you get to sort of April May at the end of each financial year, you look back and say, okay. What are my earnings? Do I fall under a low middle income earner? And should I look at like whether I'm um, I'm eligible for the government co-contribution? Am I in a relationship where my partner is earning decent income? Is it interesting for our family unit to look at spouse contributions? Or um, should I look at making personal contributions before the financial year? So really dependent on your financial situation, whether you want to be contributing small amounts over the way and also then doing a review um, as we uh, get closer to each financial year and saying, okay, well, what's the most tax effective? Ideally speaking to your accountant about that and they will um, advise you also. So they're my, they're my tips. So know what you want in retirement, choose the right fund and make sure your contributions from your employer and from yourself are set up properly. And then being aware of the different tax benefits. And on the ATO website, um, under a section, Grow My Super, there's some really good, easy to understand resources. And on the moneysmart.gov.au website, there's some really good retirement planning calculators. And also on the vervesuper.com.au website, we've got free um, uh, financial education modules. And so you can also um, look at that to help with goal setting and cash flow management and, and tips for supercharging your, um, your super. So good luck. That's awesome. Thanks, Zoe.